unpredictable war now with all different types of enemies. Today's combat field, everything's changing day to day. For some reason, we never choose to have wars in places that are comfortable. You're always looking for comfort while you're out there. Before you step into a situation, you want to know that you're going to be comfortable with what you have on. Hi, I'm Sergeant Jason Corbett. Corporal Edsel Hall. I'm Corporal Corey Kaplan. I'm Sergeant Eric Perez. I'm Chuck Holton. I spent four years in the 75th Ranger Regiment. It really is a big brotherhood. It's like growing up with multiple brothers, and the minute you get into something and you need to back up your brother, you don't hesitate, you don't think twice. We put the shirts to the test today. We've been working out. We did the swinging low obstacle. We did the weaver. Moved over to the monkey bars. The low crawl. When you low crawl, you're diving through there, going as fast as you can. We didn't take this uh, this course lightly. We're all cut up, all scraped up, but uh, the shirts aren't cut up. I thought if anything, they were gonna snag up during the low crawl with the barbed wire and the rocks, but true to the word, they held up. As long as it's made in the U.S., yeah, I'll definitely get it. Made in the U.S.A., that's what we want and what we need. Last summer, I spent a couple of weeks with the Marines in southern Afghanistan and I've never seen a harsher environment. We carry an enormous amount of gear, and as your gear is on, there's no way to perspire. But when I have a normal cotton tee on, it gets really damp, ends up bunching up, acts like a sponge, never really dries. It really feels like a, a cotton t-shirt, but you know, knowing it's the dry farm material, though, it's breathing really well. You get really hot, but you end up being more cool with the shirt on, keeps the temperature down, which helps you train a little bit harder. It wicks it right away. And amazingly enough, it doesn't smell. Our armpits, I mean, mine are soaking wet right now, and I went like yeah. this to, yeah. to see, and it's completely dry. I'm it's, wet, but you don't see it. I can smell him a mile away. I'm, I'll let you know tonight. I don't know about him, but I'm pretty good. Anything that's going to involve sweat, I'm definitely going to be putting this thing on just for that reason, to keep me cool and dry. When you're thinking about dry fire, if you could have something you're not going to have to worry about, it's going to be bunching, you can breathe well, it's not going to melt to you, and that's one last thing you got to worry about. I had a friend that came back from Iraq and told me that I, it was it with some shrapnel from an IED, but they were wearing uh, an, another type of undergarment that just uh, kind of got stuck in the skin, so they had to uh, rip it out, just cut them open. The minute I leave here, I'm calling all my active duty friends and telling them, hey, this is what you got to get. Mom and dad go on the website, order it, and send it on over. If I had the money, I'd buy the whole platoon out in Iraq to wear these because I want them safe, knowing that they're not going to get burnt. It works. If I have to, I'll give them my own shirt.